your ships conquer the skies! Uh, and there's wine. Here we are. Checking out a rather interesting game. A game I've been wanting to check out for a long, long, long time now. And the developers, after seeing my healthy on six, uh, six game of uh, well, videos, decided to send me a key, which I thank them very much. I've been really wanting to check, uh, re I've been really wanting to check this game out. And yeah, what is this? Well, it is one of the very few steampunk games on Steam, and I dare say the best. And it is pretty much you make your own airships and you fight. Either in the, if I either in the war, apparently there's a campaign now, and that's pretty much it. I mean, there's also uh, there's also you can also add tracks to your airships. Uh, you can make walkers, you can make fortresses, stuff like that. But, I mean, it just released on uh, today, August 16th, 2018, for the price of fourteen dollars nine cents. So yeah. Well, let's get started. Yeah, I'm not very good with just me going to the video, am I? I wasn't doing that. But yeah, there's a, there's a Team Workshop and everything. It's pretty cool. And it's also a strategy game. Yeah, it's a strategy game. Because I've watched uh, I, I've watched Inter Elysium play this and Vex. Actually, no, I, watch, I watched Vex play this. I don't think we should ever, I'm trying to remember if I watched Inter Elysium play it. He's playing it now for the release, but I don't know. But yeah, so this is not going to be exactly blind, but it will still be my style, the death style. Uh, pretty interesting settings. Good amount of languages. Yep. It should actually be easy to play this in Windows, which is nice, because this game would definitely bow itself well to play being played in Windowed. But that's the first things first is tutorial! No, I won't miss. Uh, nope, no, I won't miss the baking stuff. Yeah, pretty much this is a complete open design thing. It's basically based around little mo modules, and that's basically it. Airship, airship, airdor. Oh, well, landship is what they call the vehicles, which they are huge. They are airships that are on. They're on the ground. Which airships can be small or big or what have you. Not the fancy. The air destroyer. I use separate destroyer. Wait, that's a, that's a fail. I'm failing so hard. Yeah, I mean, I mean, go to sleep. Couldn't really go to sleep, so yeah, that. That's a story. Not the story here. That's a reference. That's not what I want. Oh. There we go. There we go. That's what I want. Alright. My brain was just not working. Air Destroyer, yes. Not like any destroyer can't go in the air anyway, it just has to come out, it just has to come down from space to do that. Oh, I just need fine modules, armor. Decoration. Okay, how do I do this? Let's just do this, like, component, components. And the game is pretty simulatory and realistic. Yeah, see all this. Ah, there you go. Filler, filler box will one. Oh, wow. So many blocks. I like that. Can be confusing. But if you're, make, if you're making a, if you're making a game based on building stuff, we can upload these to the Steam Workshop, by the way. You want to, which I'll be uploading my destroyer we built today to the Steam Workshop, if it's any good. Okay, so you build by pixel. Interesting. Let's 
So, we can't simply make it a D, I mean, actually, yes, we can. It will just be 2D vertical, which would be weird. Yes, that's weird for me. Yeah, destroyers are typically horizontal Ds, not vertical Ds. I have no idea how big this is going to be. Okay, that's what I'm actually going to do, so that's pretty small. Okay, that's pretty good. Right clicking, left clicking. Pretty simple interface. But good. Let's make this line 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Actually, you better if I do this. Nope, where, where you go? Oh, double click twice, you'll, you'll do it that way. I mean, double hook twice, you'll delete the block. Yeah, that doesn't, look, that doesn't look right. I think three's best. There we go, like the flat section. Now, destroyers don't have to be D shaped. But that was the original concept when I was a kid, so. They shall be D shaped. Destroyers, by the way, are pretty much you mean battle tank of ship types. I have no idea how big the other modules are, so that's my basic shape. Oh, that, that actually is pretty big, so let's put a bridge right here. Make sure it low, but right, 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 right in the middle. Now you have people, you have supply, uh, you have resources and stuff like that you need to manage. Okay. Actually, let's put that on the lead the bridge. Ah, uh, that's nothing fancy. I think that's supposed to keep it floating midair without, uh, without, well, uh, without, uh, a bag of air over it. More thing right there. So you can make this a carrier if you want, but it's their story. They don't really care anything other than maybe I wanted to, maybe, or other than maybe a shuttle bay. I'm talking about this is coming from the, uh, the dirt, the, uh, the, Ah, uh, the third verse Golden Age 2 destroyers. Okay, okay, okay. Which one we can check out? I uh, can check that out. Look up, basically look up their story, uh, their story, their verse on YouTube, or check out the playlist in Greenville Walkthrough, or on their stories. I mean, or on Greenville Storybook. Or Greenville Stories, I mean. Just have a normal. I right, know let's put it back a bit. I'll be off balance, just like that. I 
So it'll be more like an airship we know, uh, we know, uh, we know in our own in our own history. Oh, fragile. Okay. That doesn't require any tech. I won't, I won't build these railways, so that's what we're, that's what we're doing. That's why I think thing we're meaning your large engine pod. Okay, let's connect these with the filler. Whoops. Okay, this need that it doesn't need to be that big. Quarters. A crow's nest. They see if anyone's above them. This one go up there though. Crow's nest. From this vantage point, a spotter can improve the ship's aim. Okay, it doesn't want to go where I want. Put it on your computer. Where's the computers? Classic bang. We're still. Uh, uh. Stay, start. Sick bang! Anyway, sick boy can restore members to full flying ship again. Uh, whether they train themselves here on their own or carry by a camera, okay. They want one of them. No potion. We need to fill the back bit more. Now, traditionally, the destroyer has a segment that's mostly floating in space because I, that's how I wrote my D's. Okay, well, let's do the filler again. But I don't think we should really do that in this game. Three again. This is a nice, good number. There we go. Okay, let's go. Fix. And we'll make more events, and we'll make more events versions later. You know, because I'll be playing Conquest a lot, I would think. And also just random skirmishes, which you can't do in this. Uh, which you can do in this mode. I refill a little engine pod. I think where's machinery? Oh, sales don't. Oh, wow. We're going for pillars. Okay, so this is a puller. These are pusher propellers, I would think. Needs to go up here. And I can move them out a bit more.
and that these come out like that to form the horizontal, oh, to form the horizontal bits of the D. There we go. Because the main engines are also in the two tails of the D. Okay, so the band-aid is it, it recommends that you can actually fix an issue. Interesting. Ah, oh, machine shops is the bigger repair bay. Idea how hard these are to get, but so much things, uh, so much things we can do later. But let's go with the essentials first. So we want to have that stick out the front. I just have cannon coming right out the front, that works. Oh yeah. That works rather nicely, don't you think? things we can do later. So we need ammo. Uh, we need ammo rooms. Ammo store. Oh, oh, perfect. That's what I wanted. Oh, fix this issue. Yes, please. And we'll carry lots of munitions. Because we're not running an ammo in battle. We're going to be like a current of airship. Never want to never want ammo ever for any reason. We now undo quarters and connect things. First up, give me some guns. And no worry, this is just the main structure that's a filler for. Will go anywhere easily, so we don't have any issues. I mean, with the ship too big, but then again, I, I guess that's what I guess that's normal for these. If you make too big, or to make them too big, I should say. Oh, 
I'm gonna make a corridor up here to go across the coal store. Don't need that because we're inside the ship. So they can't walk in open space. That, is, that makes sense. make an even simpler version so you get very so we can get basically get started with sails and well muskets but i'll definitely make a carrier and a minigun well a minigun might not be use might not mean much in this game although i would still try to make one now we got put armor And if we do this, ah, oh, but you can't use it to actually bolster anything. How about we just move that up? I'm not quite sure how I like it. I don't quite sure how I like the whole you delete something, it makes a. Uh, you delete something, it's. It's what you do that. I like it a bit, but it's. Did it, um. It's hmm. I'm hmm. I'm hummed about it. Let's put two cool stores in. I'm not quite sure how many I'll need. Same with ammo. And we also have the space to spare, so we'll do that. And we'll put two bomber. Oh, we need a cockpit, don't we? Do they be seeing anything? How do we, how do we do it when our B is vertical, not horizontal? Hmm. Well, let's just put her up top. Actually, right there. Uh, now the now the balloons connected. Actually, this is why nah, I not like it when it does this. That actually, that actually makes sense. Uh, you can, you can drag. Can we move together now? Oh, we just have filler. It's no armor? There kind of should be armor in this game. <laughs> it's not hard. Make sure I have uh, a main chair ship called by a soldier. Okay. We want to just like help. Useful, like, arrow. Airship, 
fellow got those interesting. Is there no armor? Intriguing. If there's armor, I don't see it. Okay, I can click and drag the scroll bar or use mouse wheel. Oh, there's armor. Great. See the wall. Just put bricks on the airship. This is doing normal steel or steel armor. That's how it looks from the outside. Oh, that's interesting. Steel. Oh, we're placing it on the. Oh, we're placing on the structure. Interesting. So don't have to compromise like we do in. Some games like this. I don't think we need armor the inner layers as much. Now, this game is play this game is actually a two a 2D armor engineer, definitely. This game is a 2D armor that. This game is a 2D RTS. You can actually fly above and below the uh, the opponent, uh, your opponents. Chip is still to fly. Yeah, I was kind of worried about that. What an armor, because we have to try. It's full hatches, I understand. Wooden armor. wood wall then. Oh, we already had wooden armor. That makes sense. This is, I guess, cheaper and yeah. Wow, what do we want to compromise? Because we still need to fill the inside. Put more air? Yeah, because I don't want to compromise by removing uh, steel armor. So let's have more air. That's a large balloon, by the way. And by the way, that was time. Uh, so yeah, this is going to be it. This is going to be a long gameplay video. I can tell you that much right now. So let's put two. Oh, I just need that much? Okay. So let's have a different idea. Let's have one in the bottom. Oh, I know. I also move it up a bit. One block. Should we get two? Let's put one in the middle too. Actually, look at the caps first.
That's kind of like a backup. Fill this filler, fill a filler, fill a filler right there. Just put three. Move it further back. Oh, now the copper can't see. Right, right. Well, let's just say it was on either end. Let's just say that. Get it lined up. There we go. 